Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode is powered by Perfect Sports Nutrition. It's all about strong feet is more power. All right, today's episode, I'm gonna be Dr. Bazooka, the podiatrist, making sure your feet are strong for your combinations. Too many times I'm seeing lazy feet, collapsed ankles, no strong toes. So I'm gonna break down how important it is to have strong feet and strong ankles and calves, okay? So let's get into it right away. Now the first mistakes I see when it comes to our footwork, okay, is knowing when we kick, we collapse our feet. And that's one of the most frustrating things for me, right? So when we start, I see a lot of fighters, I'm like, okay, let's stay on the ball of the foot. They're all on the ball of the foot to kick. As soon as they kick, their foot collapses because their calves aren't strong enough, their feet aren't strong enough to keep the weight. So then they lose that return. So they, they kick, collapse, and now it's harder for them to get back. So one of the first things that happens is you need to be able to kick, stay on your calf to be able to come down. Now, part of the feet that I talk about is making sure even when you do step and kick, the weight goes towards the pinky. If my big toe, okay, if I kick and I'm here, and my big toe collapses in, I need to keep the arch in my feet. So even when I step, I look to keep nice strong feet, good arch, and this way I can kick and come back to a stance. I don't want this ankle collapsing in because then I'm off balance and I can't control my return stance, okay? So that's one very important thing to think about. Even throwing my left kicks. A lot of people, they'll throw their left kick too long and stay on the heel. Right? You need to make sure you activate the calf, the ankle, and your feet when you throw your kick. So even when I kick with my left side, I get on that foot to stay strong, nice, and tall. If I kick here flat foot, I don't get to use my hip, which doesn't allow me to get that extra power. Strong feet equals more power. And that's just with kicking itself. So one of the simple warm-ups that I do here at Bazooka Kickboxing is having one knee up and then hands up and bouncing on the calf. Now, you can see here, I'll do 10, 10, 20, 20, 30, 30 with bounces, but it's strengthening the feet, making sure you're on the ball of the foot, your calves are nice and strong, and you're sustaining all your weight. Something very simple will go a long way when it comes to your training, okay? Your balance, your footwork, the strengthening of everything, okay? Now, it might even sound funny, but someone like me, why I've studied feet so much for power is because I grew up with flat feet. So me, my feet and ankles want to collapse inward. With a collapsed arch, I'm losing power. So simple things of like making sure I walk with my toes pointing forward very important. Another thing that I've had to test with my feet is making sure I have ankle mobility and I realized I had bad ankle mobility. Basically when I'm sitting here I have a hard time getting my heel down which means I need to work my ankle mobility so that's where my squatting and stuff happens but all of that, the ankle mobility, the strong feet, the calves all helps you with the technique. Now Lately at Bazooka, I've been very picky on back foot pivots, and this is where the back foot's gonna be very important. So, we talked about the front foot with kicking, but watch my back foot. This is the biggest mistake people make when throwing their rear hand. Remember, it's about power. I could be big, strong upper body, but this is what I see. Pay attention to my back foot, okay? You see my back foot. There was no turn, right? And I have a collapsed arch in this foot. Having a collapsed arch, what did we learn? Probably if those who took early traditional martial arts, power comes from the ground. We never really understood a lot of that when we were young. A lot of us still don't understand what that means, power comes from the ground. But I look at it as all of this is leaked power, okay? So what we want to make sure when we throw that hand, we turn our back foot, we pivot. Now I have strong feet, which then turns my hip, which then turned my shoulder, which allowed me to get full power. Now, even when my feet here, we throw the hook after that right hand. And I see this a lot. Our knee coming in without a slight pivot with the heel out. Knee coming in without pivoting, collapsed arch. Okay? With a collapsed arch, there's no power. So this is the importance of turning our feet to generate power. Okay? So whether it's a jab here, boom, strong feet. You can see here, I still have an arch in my feet. I'm not collapsing inwards, okay? So here, now I'm gonna pivot off of this back foot and turn and pivot, bang. Now I have full power. Now, the importance of a non-collapsed arch, okay, goes more than just the feet. 
If my back foot is collapsed like this, my hip isn't turned, which means my shoulder didn't turn well. So I'm losing a lot of power in one of the strongest parts of my body, in my hip. So by turning my foot and making my feet strong, okay, it allows me to turn my shoulder, my hip, and get rotational power. The biggest mistake when people want to get, uh, try to get power without their feet is from the side angle, they keep their shoulders square because they're not pivoting that back foot. By pivoting that back foot, okay, taking away the collapsed arch, you're able to generate power and come forward. And then the beautiful thing about that is by stepping here, I could even step again with strong feet to be able to power out and kick, okay? I always have that collapse, uh, strong foot without a collapse. Now, again, when you practice this, I want you to practice one, the jab, slow it down, cross, make sure your feet and everything is strong. Then I hook, making sure I don't have a collapsed arch on the front foot, strong feet, okay? Now I throw a cross again, boom, making sure the feet, Okay, so I'm going to punch very slowly and make reference of my feet. Okay, slow it down. Now, this is more of a basic level. Now, this can become even more advanced, and I found this out with my intermediate advanced class here at Bazooka Kickboxing, is even when we're slipping our head and looking to counter, we're having these weak feet. So when I do want to counter now with head movement, what's happening is now my feet aren't allowing me to be in a position to bang out with power, okay? So I'll give you an example. Matt throws a jab. He throws a cross, okay? I, I slipped a punch, it looks good, and now I want to count, look, but look, my back foot has collapsed. I know it's very picky and minimal, but now if I throw a left hook to the liver, I'm not getting as much power as I would if I had a good strong foot on the back side, okay? So for my beginners, just make sure each strike, we're turning our feet to make sure we're generating power, good balance, good stance length. Now, what you're gonna notice sometimes, as a beginner, your stance might be long. So you're coming here and you're, you're, you're understanding like, why are you off balance? Well, by learning proper footing and not collapsed arching and pivoting, it really forces you to have a really strong stance length. Not too long, not too short. You have to have a good balance, okay? So making sure our feet turn, with everything. Now say Matt throws a right cross, boom, okay? I pivoted, now he might throw a hook, boom. But look, even when I rolled the hook, look at my feet, strong. I don't have a collapsed arch anywhere. Now I can come in and counter with good power. So when you're striking, so one, two, and then say I throw a three, and then say the cross comes, boom. See, I can counter, then roll, strong feet, counter, now I can counter with strong feet and good positioning, right? So my point is, if you want to get power, if you, full power, you're still going to get a lot of power by even turning a little bit or not much, but the full traditional punch is pivoting it over. Am I going to pivot that much on every punch, especially with kickboxing? No, you might not. But you, you got to know, if you want to really put someone out and you feel like you want to sit on that rear hand, you want to turn that back foot for me now. People will say this is a boxing pivot versus a kickboxing pivot, but my belief is they mix and match together. So even if I throw a one-two, boom, with the back foot pivoted, I might throw a jab, and then now I'm going to kick from here, a long power stance. So you just have to be aware the more experienced you get, am I trying to finish with the hands or am I looking to kick? If you're kicking, you're going to be in a longer stance. If you're boxing, you're going to be in a shorter stance, okay? So that's the most important thing. Understand what you're doing, but it all comes from the feet. And I'm gonna end with this point. Your feet determine everything on the way up, okay? If you're leaked power and you're off from your feet, your punch is gonna be off, your kick's gonna be off. Everything stems from the feet, okay? So if I want power, I need to turn my feet. I can't turn my hip without my foot. Now, with the hip turn, my shoulder can go. Now I can have a full cross with my head offline, okay? So one, feet strong. Two, generate power. Hook coming through here. I can roll in a strong power position. I could roll again, cross, hook, uppercut, right? All strong feet. So just remember, strong feet means hip turn, which means my shoulder turn, which means more power. So. The original, original statement of the video, strong feet 
equals more power. Take away those collapsed arches and really focus on your feet. Okay? Even little foot drills I'm okay with. There's towel pulling drills, making sure your feet can spread. Matt and I, we're guilty of it. We've even used toe spacers to be able to make sure our toes are nice and spread. Right? We fight barefoot. We're in shoes most of the day closing our feet. We're in high cushioned heels, which takes away ankle mobility. The more I study feet, the more I study martial arts, the importance of being barefoot, okay, making sure you're strong, you have arches, your toes can spread. That's your balance. That's your feeling of the canvas, okay? Toes spread wide, strong arches, good ankle mobility, strong calves. That's your key to good power. Okay, like, subscribe, share to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA with all of your friends and your teammates. Make sure you go to the channel sponsors, Perfect Sports Nutrition. Use code Bazooka20 to get 20% off your supplements. And they have their new vegan protein out. We have HayabusaFight.com to get all the Hayabusa gear. BazookaShop.com for Bazooka gear. And last but not least, BazookaTraining.com. For less than 10 bucks a month, you get four brand new videos a week. Bag work, home tutorials, and sparring drills. Four brand new videos a week, plus an archive that has over 100 videos from beginner, intermediate, to advanced style training, okay? All taught by me with my curriculum. I teach you the concept here, but if you want the full details on how it builds into the curriculum, why it's important, where to use it, when to use it, that's all at bazookatraining.com. All right, like, subscribe, share, stay safe. We'll see you next time here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach Bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.